Materials, part three of three. Thermosetting plastics. Thermosetting plastics are plastics that become set in their solid state once they are molded. Consequently, they cannot be remolded, which severely limits their ability to be recycled. Thermosets do have an edge over thermoplastics in that they can withstand higher temperatures, are harder and stronger, and are far less susceptible to chemical deposition from acids and solvents. A thermoset starts out as two different substances called a resin and a hardener, which are combined together in the proper proportions to generate a chemical reaction. A resin is a gum-like solid or semi-solid viscous substance that contains polymer macromolecules in the resin to become cross-linked with each other. This process is called curing. When the, when the curing process is finished, the material will stay in a fixed solid state. Though they are relatively expensive, epoxies have excellent adhesive qualities that make them useful as glues for both similar and dissimilar materials in every material category. Composite materials. A composite material is a solid that is comprised of two or more distinctly different materials that are intentionally combined in layers of mixtures to exploit and enhance certain material properties. Many modern boat hulls, which have been made using composite materials since the mid-1940s, consist of a fiber cloth material that is encased within a thermosetting plastic. Cloth materials, such as fiberglass or Kevlar, serves as the reinforcement and thermosetting plastics, such as epoxy or polyester resin, serve as the matrix material. The material properties are a result of the interaction between the matrix and the reinforcement. The matrix material is selected based on its ability to withstand the environmental conditions, be they thermal, chemical, electrical, or combinations thereof. The matrix material gives the design its shape. The Mongols, who lived approximately a thousand years ago, were experts at making composite bows out of natural materials. Modern composites are replacing traditional materials with the aerospace, automotive, and high-end sporting good industries because they often exhibit qualities that cannot be matched by traditional materials. Modern composites are generally lightweight and moldable into complex three-dimensional forms, and they exhibit high degrees of strength and stiffness. They incur higher material costs and are harder to manufacture than traditional materials. They, intend to, they tend to utilize materials that are not recyclable and therefore environmentally problematic. Detecting defects in components that are made from composite materials is harder because the materials are not homogeneous. Given the wide variety of available composite materials and the myriad of ways in which they are formulated, there is substantially less data available to the design engineer in comparison to the other traditional materials. Um, categories, advantages, and applications of modern composite materials. Here you can see a polymer matrix composites, metal matrix composites, ceramic matrix composites, and carbon-carbon composites. Um, some advantages that they have and some applications. If you want to pause the video and copy this down, you can. The questions that we're going to discuss in class. What are common domestic and engineering applications of both ferrous and non-ferrous metals? What are common applications of both softwoods and hardwoods? What kinds of products are made from the materials in the different ceramics categories? What applications are these types of plastics used in? What common applications utilize composite materials? What are common mineral ores from which iron, copper, tin, zinc, aluminum, and titanium are extracted? Identify an example application of cast iron. What is the difference between a metal element and an alloy? Identify two engineering applications of gold, two engineering applications of silver, two engineering applications of copper. Identify two engineering applications of aluminum alloys and titanium alloys. What's the difference between hardwoods and softwoods? Give two engineering applications of softwoods. What is a polymer? What are composites and why are they used? And identify a historical example of a composite material. That ends part three.